Tip three, put a stop to the mundane. We feel that we as Scrum Masters need to prompt our team members and invariably land up asking questions which over a period of time become repetitive and mundane. The tip here is just stop doing that. Now here's an explanation of the concept. Hey, what worked this sprint? Hey guys, what could be improved next sprint? This kind of questioning can become very repetitive. Your team is smart. They have it all figured out after the very first few meetings, so why not just let them answer rather than being prompted? This benefits in two ways. Your team gets encouraged to answer and discuss any topic and also think for themselves. When asked a question, you invariably think along the lines of answering that particular question and brainstorming is not affected. It is often the custom for the scrum master to give chances or order a discussion. Hey, it's your turn to talk now. Instead, let your team members decide their own order. At Sprint Retrospective, it is a discussion of how, what, and where each person feels, and it does not dictate a certain order. So instead of you calling upon each one, let the team member who has just spoken decide who is going to be next. This will add a bit of randomness to the whole meeting, and it keeps things a little bit more interesting. Vary the venue. If, if you have a meeting in the very same room every single day, it can get a little bit tiresome. Take it to your nearest Starbucks or maybe out in the garden. You decide. In summary, refrain from questioning and prompting your team members too much. Let the team decide the order. And vary the venue.